All right, y'all, I'm back. Once again, working on the dream game. I know last video, we had a couple of unfortunate events with the file in Roblox Studio. We literally couldn't do anything, but I actually did figure out what was wrong and I did fix the file. But either way, I think like a good restart, especially with the map, will be good. Like I said last video though, I am gonna save all the files for the scripts, but as far as the map, we're gonna restart today so yeah let's get right into it all right so in blender as you guys can see we have a couple models here and um i know there's only a few models here but i have another file with a couple more and yeah so a lot of you guys have seen these models before i've used them in the map uh, but you know we have to like kind of be more strategic with how we make this map so it doesn't look as plain and boring as the other one but yeah, let's just get everything in studio just so we can map it out and see what we have so far. All right, let's go. This is not enough at all. So let's make a couple more models so we can fill up this map. So at this point, I'm pretty much just making a bunch of models to place around the map, like a couple buildings, a tent, just random stuff that I know will look good on the map and that we could use to fill it up so it doesn't just look plain and empty. All right, so we got a texture on pretty much everything. I think we could try to start putting stuff together, kinda. Let's see. All right, obviously what we got so far is looking horrible. I even tried to add some borders in, but it didn't really help. So I actually am going to make new borders and we're gonna restart this map one more time. This time it's gonna be good. All right, so we got the rocks in and the border in. And before you guys just run to the comments and say, oh, trust DC, these are free. No, shut up. These are not free models. Stop it. I just made them. Like, I just made them. Like, just now, just now. As you can see, literally just made these. So, yeah, for this new process, we're going to start by placing the spawn in a corner like we did before. Because I feel like if you place it in a corner, it gives you room to just expand, you know, instead of just placing it in the middle and then everything being around the spawn. I feel like this has a better intro to the world. So, or should I say the game? Obviously, we want the trees from now, but before we do that, I want to change the color so it matches the border. So let's do that real quick. All right, that's pretty solid um we could probably change it a little bit more actually no nah, it's actually not bad this is good and now we're good but yeah we're pretty much what i was talking about is i want to kind of map things out so if we look at the part from this perspective we have the spawn and i would rather the fountain be kind of the centerpiece so put it somewhere not exactly in the middle but maybe like somewhere like that right and like I said before, this is just like the spawn location. So yeah, stuff like that. Let's say we add the pond in. We can actually scale this down a bit. Okay, now if we just take the pond and we kind of move it over here. Now we have one area we want a path to from the spawn. And then maybe we can add these buildings in. But pretty much, as you guys can see, this is what I'm talking about. You want to kind of map it out obviously this looks horrible right now but i feel like mapping it out would be better and it'll make it easier as you go along the process we can take this could put it somewhere over here maybe by the pond or something like that so now let's use the uh, archimedes tool and try to make some paths All right, so now we have something that somewhat represents a map layout, or at least the spawn location. It's not horrible, but obviously it's not very impressive because we don't have any trees, any type of filler models. We don't have anything on it yet. But as you guys can see, this is like the start. So now that if we start to add the trees and stuff, 
I think we could definitely fill it up and once we get the borders in, it'll really look complete. We have a good amount of tree placement now, so I'm going to start adding the borders. Alright, so we have something that resembles a map a little bit more. Um, let's go into play just to see how it looks. Honestly, I'm liking this better than the last map that we had. Obviously, we just have to fix the lighting. The lighting is going to really do some crucial changes to the game. But yeah, the models aren't bad. Um, I still think that there's a lot of open space. And we didn't even add all the other fillers like the crates, barrels, rocks, grass. So we'll get to that next. But I think this is pretty good so far. So let's go add the rest and see what we got after that. Let's get these rocks and stuff in. For this, I could use the brush tool because these aren't serious things to add. And I do want randomized rotation and scale, so I'll definitely use it for this. All right, so brush tool, cut and select all of these. We don't need those. Okay, cool. And for this, I think that is solid. Yeah. So let's just see how it goes with these right now. And yeah, now let's go see how that looks. All right, it's honestly not horrible. It's really not horrible. Definitely still could delete some of these rocks. There's really a lot of them. But like this border in the middle, it definitely fills up the map. We have the fountain, some of the buildings, the tent, the shed over there, the pond. So yeah, this is really not bad. Obviously, this little walking imperfection on the fountain, it just has to be fixed by um, exporting the exporting the fountain from Blender into Roblox Studio a little bit better. I'm probably just gonna split it up into different parts, but this is not bad at all, not at all. So yeah, this is pretty successful. Obviously, next is to just add the scripts back to the game and obviously these aren't just models i put in the map like all of these models are gonna have specific scripts or um what are those guys called like the dummies or the quest guys we're gonna have some of those in here too but yeah definitely for here it's gonna be some type of fishing type of thing with this oh why is the lily pad floating probably didn't scale it right and then something is gonna be in here. I'm not sure entirely, but don't forget we have the mushroom script we can add. We also have new models for the for the eggs to replace the egg models. And I'm gonna show you guys them next video. You might have seen the sneak peek in my Blender file because it was with the other models. But I'm gonna officially showcase it to you guys in the next video. But yeah, that pretty much covers the basis of today and thank you guys for sticking along with the journey yeah the game is coming together slowly but definitely surely so we'll get there there's a lot of things we got to do but yeah thank you guys for supporting like and subscribe